about 50 days from now, we have to stop giving out syringes. Oasis is the only place in Atlantic City with a syringe access program and one of just seven in the state. Over the past 14 years, South Jersey AIDS Line CEO Carol Harney says they've given out clean syringes as a way to make sure people who use drugs aren't sharing one and potentially getting or spreading HIV and AIDS, as well as other bloodborne pathogens like hepatitis C. Harney says it's going to be devastating to break the news to the 1,200 clients that rely on them for harm reduction. We expect that we will have um, higher rates of HIV and hepatitis throughout throughout our city and, and potentially our region. You know, clearly we are going to continue to fight for the program, but at, at this point there is no other plan. More than 50 people, including many health experts, testified at the final vote Wednesday night, hoping to sway the council and save the syringe access program. By meeting people where they are, syringe access programs build trust with participants. And when people seek treatment, they are ready to connect them with evidence-based services. The CDC recommends this program. The governor in New Jersey recommends this program. The state commissioner of health recommends this program. Still, despite passionate opposition, the vote was 7-2 in favor of stopping all syringe access programs in the city. Council members say they do see the value in the program, but argue Atlantic City shouldn't be the only community to shoulder syringe access and rehabilitation. None of our uh, religious leaders, our civic leaders, or our community leaders spoke in favor of keeping uh, the needle exchange program. Uh, not because they don't believe in needle exchange, not because uh, they don't believe in harm redu reduction, uh, not because our civic leaders and our religious leaders and our community leaders every day fight against the uh, problem of opiate abuse uh, and live with it, uh, but because they believe, as we have articulated, that it's not just an Atlantic City problem, that we need relief, uh, that we are willing to do our fair share as we've done for almost 15 years, uh, but other people have to get involved. When I say other people, I mean surrounding uh, communities. It's out of control. The needles all over the neighborhood. Two and a half years ago, we came up with a, 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 the idea of doing the needle exchange bus where it would go to every municipality. And the state said to us that they would work with us on that. And nobody ever did nothing. And not one municipality would take one day. It can't be... Uh, that going forward, everybody comes to Atlantic City that has uh, an opiate problem, and Atlantic City has to, must to uh, take them in. That cannot be the solution. Having said that, uh, there are several uh, ways we can go. The governor's press office told us the state is looking to collaborate with Atlantic City to make sure the program continues, but they wouldn't give us details of a solution at this time. I think 50 days is a really, really short time to make major changes in a program. So, so we are, you know, preparing our clients at this point. Despite state control over the city, the governor does not have the authority to overrule the council's decision unless the law is changed. And advocates say change is in the works. It's championed by Senator Vitale, and it would remove the need for municipalities to approve these programs. Syringe access should be in every community across the state. But the answer is not to close a program. The answer is to open more. As different levels of government work to find a solution in the next 50 days, pressure is mounting. Last week, an Atlantic City council member was attacked and told not to go against the needle exchange. That is an isolated situation. It's an, an unfortunate situation. But here in Atlantic City, uh, there is not hostility or tension in, in the community around this question. I am cautiously optimistic that we will have a solution within that time frame. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Leah Mishkin.